now. Very good morning. Good morning to you from a slightly chilly aircraft hangar here at RAF Lossiemouth. Well, the squadron has an illustrious history. You can see it on the aircraft behind me, this Tornado GR4. You can see on the tail fin there commemorating the raids of 70 years ago. Well, back then, 617 Squadron was sent in to help turn the tide of the Second World War. Today, the squadron is on its final mission rehearsal exercises in order to prepare for what they'll be doing in today's war in Afghanistan in just a few weeks' time. Their legendary predecessors watch over them as the men of today's Dambusters Squadron prepare for operations over Afghanistan. The squadron's history is ever-present, even 70 years on from the daring mission that gave them their name. The mission rehearsal today, a realistic one for tornado pilot Al Spence, at 29, already a veteran of Afghanistan. This will be his third tour of duty there. Weapon systems officer Alex Locke is on his first. The challenge for us is that unlike in the summer where we'd have crystal clear blue skies and no real weather to worry about, we'll be battling cloud, uh, visibility, rain, icing, snow, um, and it's going to make not only the tasking difficult, but the takeoff and the recoveries to the airfield more challenging. Uh, my family comes to terms with it and uh, certainly it's, it's not been a rush decision because I've been in the Air Force for seven years now. Uh, so they've, been, uh, uh, they've seen this on the horizon for the last few years. The Scottish skies and the waters of the Murray Firth stand in for the mountains and valleys of Afghanistan, where the dam busters will be called on to support NATO and Afghan troops, still under fire, even as the combat mission draws to a close. At 45, Ian Ampson is the squadron's most experienced navigator. He last served in Afghanistan on exchange, flying with the French, and will again leave his wife and two children back at home. Probably just or as, as difficult as ever for the family, though, because invariably it's the families who, who never seem to get a mention at this, but they're the ones left at home, and they're, they're the ones that are left managing things while we jet off and do our thing. <laughs> 70 years ago this March, the dam busters took to the skies to help turn the tide of war. And this autumn, they'll fly together for the last time, before they're disbanded next spring. But in 2016, the squadron will rise again with a new joint strike fighter jet, as the tornadoes slowly take their place in RAF history. And I'm joined here at Lossiemouth by squadron leader Mark Jackson. It must be quite a nostalgic feeling to know you'll be flying these jets out in Afghanistan together as a squadron for the last time. Very much so. However, it's uh, you know, tinged with some sadness. It's the end of the era for the Tornado and 617 Squadron. But in 2016, it will stand back up as the Joint Strike Fighter Squadron. That's something really to look forward to. And for you, how much awareness is there in your minds of the history of this squadron as you go to Afghanistan? Oh, very much so. The legacy from 1943 right through the 70 years to 2013 is with us when we'll be flying out there. It's something that's always on our minds. But quite hard to leave friends and family behind. Very much so. It's always hard for those that are left behind, you know, wives, uh, husbands, children, uh, and it's always mindful that it's difficult for them at home, uh, but we very much have a job to do out there and we'll be concentrating on that when we're, when we're out there over the Christmas period. And for you, as you go out there, this is your second tour, presumably quite different to the first. You'll see changes. I, I will. Uh, my first tour was on the ground, uh, supporting uh, the army units uh, down in Lashkagar, and this time in the air. So it's going to be a very different experience for, for me, but a very important one too. Squadron Leader Mark Jackson, thank you for joining us. Now, back to you in the studio from here, us here in Lossiemouth with the Dambusters. <laughs> thank you very much, Karen. Thank you.